And now I've got Alex Tenner, the under-20s team manager. Alex, uh, you were with Shamrock Rovers for quite a number of years. Yeah, from 2006 through from the amateurs until we went to the uh, First Division State League. And uh, with that time you were coaching? I did the under-18s in 2012. Um, took a few of the boys through. Lost one game throughout the whole of the season. Um, got a bit tight halfway through, but we, we managed to win it with a... About by about five seven points in the end. Oh, that's a good a good performance and a good result. Mm. And what are some of the lads that are now playing, say, NPL football? Uh, you've got Fraser Greenwood, the goalkeeper. He was at Glory Youth there for a seat. Well, he was at Bayswater first, and then he went to Glory Youth. Mm-hmm. Um, after Glory Youth, he's now picked up a first team gig until he broke his finger with Florida Athena. That's right. In the night series, um, James Atkins sort of on the on the cusp at Inglewood. A um, couple of the other boys on first team football in the first divisions. Uh, so we had Sam, At- Sam Atkins at Inglewood. Um, who else did we have? Young Sam Spears as well. Mm-hmm. He, he's down at uh, Gosnells. Yeah. Um, playing playing first team down there. So basically, there's been quite a few that you've brought through the uh, the ranks, shall we say? Yeah, with a few. Like I say, you know, through the amateurs and progressing through from the amateurs and then to state league, mm-hmm. and um, had two years off. Took it uh, quite easy for a couple of years, and then Alan has been a good friend of mine for about 20 years. And That's Alan Vernals, the, uh, the coach, coach yep. of the under-20s. Asked me to come down and give him a hand, pulled me out of retirement. He's never <laughs> won a trophy before, and, 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 and now uh, we won the Carl Hostafi Cup. So. That's right. That, tell us about that. What was that? Uh, that was the uh, competition Morley. Yeah, Morley Night Series. Yep. Uh, Carl was f- a great few, man down there. Yeah, a few, few reserve teams that were playing. Um, first game, we beat Balga 5-0. So, you know, the boys playing against men as such, so it's got them prepared for the season, for the, for the harder games. Yep. Um, we yeah, so Balga five 0 Then we beat Ellenbrook Division Two uh, State League team. We beat them thirteen one. <laughs> uh, then we played North Perth, which were a good challenge. They put their yeah. reserves got up, obviously being the amateur champions and reserve cup holders as well. So yeah. uh, beat them four two in the last group stage. Then we played Morley, beat them five one in the semi. And then obviously a good team that Bal Cadred put out as well yeah. for the reserve comp. And uh, yeah, managed to get over them five two in the final as well. So, so scoring plenty of goals yep. and uh, not conceding too many. And again today yep. against ECU here at uh, a very very nice beautiful ground. day, isn't Be- it? And it's a beautiful ground. Now they they've certainly done a lot of uh, work here at ECU. Yep. But uh, a good win today, five five one. Yeah, it's good to see the boys knocking the ball around. Everything that we've asked mm. them to do in pre season, we we sort of said that. You know, sometimes they don't listen to all the tactics. So today we've just said, just go out and play football, boys. Enjoy yourself and. You know, the results have spoke for itself, the, the way they're knocking the ball around, the, the pace that we've got. Um, we've got good quality and boys pushing through, mm-hmm. um, even the boys on the bench. So people are fighting for spots. Well, it's good to get back on winning ways because, uh, yeah, they set back last week against Subiaco 4-3. Mm. That was a, a real uh, humdinger of a game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Could it have was, gone either way. Yeah, I mean, we went down to 10 men and obviously... Uh, yeah, it's you know, very so difficult. It's, you got to play a few boys as well that get dropped down. Um, obviously, they're looking for the first team fitness and pushing for first team spots. Mm. So it just sort of unsettles the team a little bit. Yes. But uh, once you get, you know, once we got over that, we, you know, even when we're down to ten men and we sort of got the young kids back on the park, we, you know, show four three and we probably could have won the game as well. Yeah. Or at least got something out of the game. Yeah. It, it probably would be difficult because uh, I suppose when you look at the senior players dropping down, they're probably got one eye on getting in back into the into the first team and therefore making sure they're certainly not going to injure themselves isn't that well yeah there's that as well and you know you expect them though when they when they drop down to be the leaders and be the better yep. players sort of out there on, on the day and you know it's not always i suppose not necessarily the way yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah well that's that's why we've got footballers yeah, that's <laughs> we've it, got so, uh, but we, you know again <laughs> yep. with, with the quality that we've got in, in the team this year yep. um just looking at them the way they move the ball you know the way they, they finish we probably could have had a few more goals today yep um but credit's where credit's due, you know, June's up sort of battled for a good 60 minutes there, and I think the heads sort of dropped after that. So. Yeah, and uh, yeah, sort of 5 1 today. And did you, you wouldn't have had any of the first teamers dropping back down today, would you? You would have just had your own solid squad. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't. <laughs> no, it's great. So, what are your hopes now for the rest of the season? Uh, let me put it this way What would you prefer to see? Your team winning the res- are the under twenties, or four or five of them making it into the first team. Oh, well, there's a couple of boys already on the fringe that they mm. they train week in week out with the first team. You've got yep. uh, David Molinari um, left back there. Uh, you've got uh, T or 
Taban McCoy yeah. uh, was number 17 today yeah. so he's on the bench now for the first team Aaron Delaney the captain he started or he was on the bench for the first team last week as well mm -hmm. um, so there's already two or three of these boys already floating around the first team squad yeah so and uh, well, you said that not answer my question which would you prefer <laughs> Um, well, no, no, it's, it's all about progression. It you is. Know? It's it about is. progression. No. So the boys are good enough. I mean, we, we've got plenty of other boys on the bench as well. You know, we've got a big squad this year. Yeah. Uh, and boys are fighting for those positions. So we'd, we'd like to see them push towards the first team, which is, it gives them that opportunity. Like I said there's already three or four boys that are knocking on the door, yeah. door there as well. So... And also, it's it's now got to the stage where, having witnessed the first 45 minutes, and we're just at the half-time break, by the way, in the uh, NPL game, but having witnessed the first 45 minutes, that was some superb football by baseball. There should be more than three up. Yeah, well, being team manager, I didn't get to see much of it. I was still packing stuff away, <laughs> uh, as you do. So. Yeah, no, they have been excellent. Yeah. All right, Alex, I'll let you get back. And, uh, thanks a million Cheers, for buddy. talking to us. No, that was good afternoon. Alex Tenner, the team manager of the under-20s.